West Bend Power, a junior hockey organization, is officially playoff bound, but one of their most impactful players this season isn't even on the ice. Ashley Washburn introduces us to the man behind the mic. At the age of five, Frank Zorowski can remember sitting in his basement watching the Chicago Wolves, trying to remember as many players as he could on their roster, while also trying to stay up to date with all things in the American Hockey League. But that was also one of his earliest memories of also listening to hockey play by play, not only leading him to his dream career, but breaking down barriers along the way. Hello again, everyone. High above the ice here at the Kettle Murray Nice Center in West Bend, Wisconsin. I'm Frank Zorowski. With the headset on and spotting boards filled out, it's moments like this, Frank says he feels most like himself. The pace of it, the pace especially of hockey, there's no out of bounds. You're always on. And for my energy level, Ashley, that's what I want to do. Chasing a career in play by play has always been Frank's dream. The power are riding the storm out tonight. But the path to getting here hasn't always been the easiest. They didn't know what it was. I got my first neuropsych when I was two years old. They knew there was something different. Not a bad difference, just something different. And it wasn't until fourth grade Frank knew what that something different was autism, and more specifically, ASD1. It really allows me to pick up things faster. A strength his mentor even noticed. He has a tremendous ability to recall games, players, moments in time. And while Frank does not hide the fact that he's on the spectrum, it wasn't until this past month that he decided to share it with the hockey world. The amount of conversations I had at the dinner table with my parents, it's like, well, why can't I just talk about it now? I'm like, Frank, there will be a time and a place to talk about it. You don't need to do it as soon as possible. You need to do it at the right time. And for him, it was centered around finding a purpose. When we interviewed Frank, that conversation never happened. And it wasn't until a couple of weeks later that Frank finally came up to introduce himself to the team where he pulled me aside and he said, I've got some ideas and this is what I would like to do. And that's when he pitched the Autism Awareness Night. I really hope to see you and your families out. Thanks again, everyone, and go power. Frank became the first ever openly autistic play-by-play -play announcer. But as more people learn about his story, he's hoping he won't be the last. Hopefully we start a movement. Hopefully we start something where it's like, okay, if you're autistic in hockey or if you're autistic in any sphere of work, you know, it's not a detriment, it's a benefit. And Frank shared with me that they were able to raise more than $3,000 for the Autism Society of Southeastern Wisconsin, a number he hopes will only continue to grow in year two. Ashley Washburn, TMJ4 Sports.